Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, I want to start something new. It's just a little snippet or little pieces of uh, news that I find to be uh, incredibly exciting and also uh, sometimes scary. So this just came up, came across my desk. U.S. federal government and 48 states file an antitrust lawsuit against Facebook. So what is this going to mean for Facebook's cryptocurrency DM? Well, it's probably not going to get off the ground. So I just want to go over this real quick because uh, this is huge. First of all, if you're, not, um, if you're not familiar, what is an antitrust law? Well, in the U.S., the antitrust law is a collection of federal and state government laws that regulate the conduct and organization of business corporations and are generally intended to promote competition for the benefit of consumers. And this, of course, is what we talk about as far as busting up a monopoly. And what they're saying here is that Facebook is a monopoly. And they've been talking about this for quite some time. They actually hauled them into the Senate and had them uh, testify before Congress. And they pretty much got out of it because <laughs> Congress people had no idea what uh, what Zuckerberg was actually talking about. But uh, here it looks like they're getting a little bit more heavy handed. They're like, look, you got to calm down and uh, we're going to bust you up. So let's see uh, what's happened. This is from the uh, New York Attorney General, Leticia James press conference, very quick and it kind of just rolls it out about what's about to happen. For nearly a decade, Facebook has used its dominance and monopoly power to crush smaller rivals and snuff out competition, all at the expense of everyday users. By using its vast troves of data and money, Facebook has squashed or hindered what the company perceived as potential threats. They've reduced choices for consumers. They stifled innovation and they degraded privacy protections for millions of Americans. Here's what it's gonna come down to. Congress is pissed off because Facebook made them look stupid. Also, uh, they're not too happy with them because of the election and what happened there and all the data that they actually got. So I don't know who actually pushed for this, but uh, I'm just going to let you make up your mind about what's going on. So what is going to happen? Well, they're going to get brought before Congress. They're going to go through a lot of legal procedures and maybe they will get broken up. But I will just tell you this, it will take a very long time. And all the energy and all the outlook that, that Facebook has to do as far as like with Diem, which used to be called Libra, I, I think it's going to be fall to the wayside and they're going to be passed over by other corpora corporations or entities that can put a lot of energy into it. This is going to impede Facebook and what they want to do as far as, if you want to call it world domination, sure. Or if you just want to call it expansion, sure. But uh, this is a huge thing. So when the government gets in and says, you cannot be this big, we're going to break you up. Uh, not a good look or not a good feeling for Facebook. So we will see. Anyhow, that's just what I want to talk about real quick. And uh, this, I think, is going to have a positive effect overall for cryptocurrency digital assets because if DM would have actually come into play, they could have just started off with, oh, it's just going to be a uh, stable coin and it's just going to be pegged to the dollar. And then they can move a little bit insidiously into something else. And then, oh, you know what? We're also going to use a payment token now because we've already got this other thing established. So let's just use a payment token. And then before you know it, they got a whole host of what they want to do and they become the major payment provider. I was never a fan of Facebook going into this. I thought it would actually would hurt cryptocurrency. Uh, moving forward, but that is just me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And that's it for this little piece. So thanks for uh, coming with me, doing a little bit of something different as far as in the digital asset space or digital asset news. I appreciate it. And uh, that is it. So thanks. I'll see you on the next one.